Hi and welcome back to our Spinner Build series. Today we're going to make some shelves to go in here to hold microwave and some other things. So let's get started. Now our goal for inside this cabinet is to have a shelf here to hold the microwave and I want the microwave as high inside the shelf as we can get it. And then I'm going to have another shelf down here to hold a camp stove or something like that. So it will be a relatively shallow shelf. So for that reason, I've, instead of putting the shelf on top of this aluminum here, that wouldn't have left much room for anything. So I took some angled aluminum, drilled a couple holes, and put some carriage bolts in the framing. And so we will set our wood on top of this. So at least we've got four and a half inches, I think, for um, a lower shelf. And the upper shelf, we want it as high as we can get it because I have a sliding seat that comes back here and it sits up about this high. So we want to make sure we have room for the microwave door to open. So I started by putting some little roll-in T-nuts in the framing and I took standard angle brackets that we've used everywhere else on this fan build and put some bolts in there and started by taking the half inch plywood that we're going to use. I set it in place and I checked, I test fitted the microwave. I couldn't, I couldn't do that in video at the same time. But so this right here is the height we determined that we want the microwave. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some measurements across here and then we're just going to subtract an inch and a half on either side for the thickness of this framing. So we'll put a couple of, of rabbits here to go around the framing. And then over here, um, it's going to come in flush here. And then we'll cut around this one. So go ahead and take some measurements and we'll cut out some plywood with the skill saw. As you saw, I used the skill saw to cut this to width and length. And then here's our inch and a half wide cutouts to go around the framing. And that's on three of the corners. I used the jigsaw to do that. And then I also decided to put a little setback here to make it easier to reach in uh, to that lower shelf. Because this, this sits up a little bit and takes away a little bit of space. That way we can slip things down under the microwave. So to do that, I used a 50 millimeter Forstner bit and drilled a hole here and drilled a hole here. And then I just drew a straight line between them and used the jigsaw and just made a straight cut, or at least as straight of a cut as you can make with a jigsaw. Now I took a pencil and I marked up through the bottom of the aluminum angle brackets and placed our four mounting holes and that's to bolt the plywood to the van. And here you can see the reason for that little cutout. So when we do have a shelf down here, um, you, you'll actually be able to get your hand in here rather be, than before. There's really not a lot of room. So now we need to test fit the microwave. Okay, you guys are going to laugh at me for this, but I was looking at the best way to mount the microwave. I wanted the microwave mounted to the board and I wanted it to be easy to remove. So what I did was there's some raised feet on the back of the microwave and there's some plastic things um, in the front. So what I decided to do was to take these screws out of the bottom of the microwave and I checked to make sure there was clearance for the plus nut because the plus nuts have, when they start out, they have some depth to them. So 
I made sure that everything was clear. I drilled two holes here and a hole here, and then I sunk the plus nut. So I have videos which I'll link up above that show how to use these. Basically, you just put a bolt and this little spacer that comes with them, and you tighten it down, and it makes this bulbed part spread out, and it forms a plus on the back. That's why it's called a plus nut. So now we have quarter 20 threaded connections in the bottom of our microwave. So Now that we have the microwave in place, we need to figure out a way to mark, to drill holes so that we can put a bolt up through our plus nut. So there's one plus nut on the front. So I use the ultra high tech method of taking a piece of wood and setting it back in there and at least marking the distance to that plus nut from this wall. And then I took a uh, ruler and measured back to the beginning of the plus nut. So that'll set our first hole. Now we took our stick that we marked and we measured the distance to the center of the plus nut and then we measured back to the leading edge of the plus nut. So now we've got a mark here so now we just need to draw a circle around that mark. Now we just need to drill in the center of that hole and we'll have the correct alignment. Now I've dropped the board down on top of the microwave, put our bolt in, so now we can just mark the rear locations for holes. Here's the lower shelf made in the same way as the upper shelf and it just sits on that aluminum angle and I'm using some Phillips head bolts with some 8 millimeter nuts on the bottom. This isn't holding a microwave so it doesn't have to be as strong. So there's the lower.
Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.